Cars are incredible machines. Under the hood, there's a complex system working together to get you from point A to point B. But even the best maintained engines can run into trouble over time. And when something goes wrong, it often shows up through sounds, smoke, or warning lights. In this video, I'll walk you through the top 10 most common car engine problems and exactly how you can fix them. I'll also give you prevention tips so you can avoid these issues before they become major repairs. By the end, you'll not only know what's happening when your engine acts up, you'll also know the smartest way to respond. So, let's get into it. One of the most common problems is engine overheating. Imagine you're on the highway, the sun is blazing, and suddenly you see steam rising from under the hood. Overheating usually happens because coolant levels are too low, the radiator is clogged, or the thermostat is stuck. It might even be a broken water pump that isn't circulating coolant properly. The immediate step, pull over, turn off the engine, and let it cool. Never open the radiator cap while it's hot. Once it's safe, check your coolant levels. If topping up coolant solves the problem, great. But if the issue repeats, inspect hoses for leaks, look at the radiator for blockages, and consider replacing the thermostat. To prevent overheating altogether, flush your cooling system at least every two years and always keep coolant topped up. Don't rely on plain water. Another issue is rough idling. You know the feeling, sitting at a traffic light and the whole car shakes like it's struggling to breathe. This can be caused by clogged fuel injectors, worn out spark plugs, or even a vacuum leak letting in unmetered air. To fix it, start simple. Cleaning or replacing spark plugs often restore smoothness, and using injector cleaner in your fuel tank can help. If that doesn't solve it, a mechanic can run diagnostics to pinpoint whether there's a vacuum leak or a sensor issue. Prevention here means regular tune-ups. Don't wait until the engine struggles. Replacing spark plugs and air filters on schedule will keep idling silky smooth. And then there's the dreaded check engine light. That little orange icon strikes fear in most drivers. But here's the thing, it doesn't always mean something catastrophic. Sometimes it's as simple as a loose gas cap causing pressure issues in the fuel system. Other times, it's a failing oxygen sensor, mass airflow sensor, or catalytic converter. The smart move is to use an OBD2 scanner. These are inexpensive tools you plug into your car to read the exact error code. For example, if the scanner says P0442, that's a small emissions leak, likely the gas cap. But if you see P0420, that points to catalytic converter efficiency. Knowing the code gives you control. You can decide whether to DIY or head to the shop. The prevention tip, never ignore the light. Even if the car feels fine, scan it quickly. Catching a small problem early can save you thousands later. Next, let's talk about oil leaks. You park your car and notice a dark stain underneath. Bad news. Oil leaks are usually caused by worn valve cover gaskets, oil pan gaskets, or sometimes a poorly tightened oil filter. The danger here is running low on oil, which starves the engine and can destroy it. The fix starts with locating the leak. Clean the engine area, then check around the valve cover, the oil filter, and the pan. Replacing a gasket or tightening the filter is usually affordable. Prevention means checking your oil regularly, not just when the oil light comes on. Catch leaks early, and you'll avoid an engine rebuild down the line. Another frustrating issue is engine misfires. This is when the engine hesitates, jerks, or loses power during acceleration. It's often caused by worn spark plugs, faulty ignition coils, or dirty fuel injectors. If the misfire is occasional, start by replacing spark plugs. It's cheap and effective. If misfires continue, test the ignition coils and consider replacing them. The real danger of ignoring misfires is that unburned fuel can damage the catalytic converter, a repair that costs thousands. Prevention? Stick to your tune-up schedule, use good quality fuel, and occasionally run fuel additives to keep injectors clean. Quick pause. If you're learning something new here, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. I post detailed videos like this every week to help you save money on car maintenance and understand your vehicle better. All right, let's keep going. Next is engine knocking or pinging. That metallic sound when you accelerate, it's caused by improper combustion. Sometimes it's just bad fuel, using low octane gas in a car designed for premium. Other times it's carbon buildup on valves or pistons, or worn bearings. 
The short-term fix can be switching to higher octane fuel or using a fuel additive that removes carbon. Long-term, if bearings are worn, a mechanic will need to inspect and replace them. Prevention tip, always use the recommended fuel for your car and don't skimp on oil changes. Clean oil keeps internal parts moving smoothly, reducing knock. Another problem that often gets overlooked is low compression. You'll notice this if the engine struggles to start, feels weak, or guzzles fuel. Low compression usually means piston rings are worn, valves aren't sealing properly, or there's a blown head gasket. This isn't an easy DIY fix. It often requires rebuilding parts of the engine, but you can diagnose it early with a compression tester available at auto stores. Prevention boils down to consistent maintenance. Fresh oil, clean air filters, and not overheating the engine will extend the life of piston rings and gaskets. Then we have clogged fuel filters. If your car struggles at high speeds or feels starved of power, the filter may be restricting flow. Fuel filters trap dirt and rust from entering the engine, but over time, they clog. The fix? Replace the filter. It's cheap and usually takes less than an hour. Most manufacturers recommend replacing it every 20,000 to 40,000 miles. Skipping it can cause strain on the fuel pump, leading to much more expensive repairs. Prevention is simple replace on schedule, and if you often fuel up at sketchy gas stations, consider doing it even sooner. Another big one is timing belt or chain problems. The timing belt synchronizes the movement of pistons and valves. If it snaps, the pistons and valves can collide, causing catastrophic damage. Belts should typically be replaced between 60,000 and 100,000 miles, depending on your car. Chains last longer, but still need proper lubrication. Symptoms of a failing belt or chain include ticking noises, poor acceleration, or the engine refusing to start. The only fix is replacement, and while it can be pricey, it's nothing compared to replacing an entire engine. Prevention? Always follow your maintenance schedule. Ignoring this part can literally total your engine. Finally, let's cover smoke from the exhaust. Different colors mean different problems. Blue smoke singles burning oil, often from worn piston rings or valve seals. White smoke usually means coolant is leaking into the combustion chamber, often a blown head gasket. Black smoke? That's too much fuel being burned, usually from faulty sensors or injectors. The fix depends on the color. Blue smoke may require seal replacement, white smoke may mean a head gasket job, and black smoke could need sensor or injector repair. Prevention is about paying attention early, if you ever see unusual smoke, don't just drive on, address it quickly before it leads to a bigger failure. So there you have it, the top 10 most common car engine problems and how to fix them. Remember, most of these issues start small. A tiny leak, a faint noise, or a warning light may not feel urgent, but fixing it early almost always saves you from massive repair bills later. If you found this video useful, let me know in the comments which engine problem you faced before and how you fixed it. And don't forget, subscribe for more car tips and guides that keep your vehicle reliable and your wallet safe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.